how does tilling versus no tillage change how much organic matter is in the soil? When you till, you inject more air into the soil, and that speeds microbial breakdown of the existing organic matter. So let, let me give you a couple of examples where you might want to consider this. Some people have peat or muck soils or just ground that has 15 or 20 or 25 percent organic matter. If you have that and you want to destroy some of that organic matter, because quite frankly, when it gets that high, it's not great. It's not a big advantage. I, I only want to get to 5 to 8 percent organic matter. That's about as high as I ever want. Okay, so you can do tillage. If I did moldboard plowing once or twice a year, every single year, over time I would start lowering that organic matter and that in that soil could be a good thing. Or let's just say this. Uh, times are, if let's say, for example, hopefully they aren't for you, but let's just say times are really tough and you're like, oof. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I really don't. Well, guess what I'd do? I'd pull out the moldboard plow and I would mine out some of the fertility that I've been building up over the years. I'd mine out some of that soil organic matter and I would put on less fertilizer in this one year. You can't do this long term, but in the short term, you could do it. So let's let's put it this way. It's like the absolute last case break glass if emergency kind of situation. But if I'm there... I'd probably do something like that. 